astonishing adventure full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry, meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. The name's Professor Gregorius T. Oswald. But my friends, and we're all friends here, call me G. Welcome to the magical theater of the strange and fantastic. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the Moon Realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, Little Bear, for whom the Moon Goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions, the Black Moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, I once upon a now. This is my moon cheese, so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course, <laughs> of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive Moonbear King uh, gave a piece of the White Moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? Oh yes, the next three years were something special. Ah, yes. Now, where do I begin? He was the Moon Realm's ruthless new king, and intended to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wooden puppets who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestad. And while tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. The poor dearie. Look, Yin Yang, another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? Why, one more, and then another after third? As many as it takes me to have my hands on Another dance will <laughs> lift his head in the mirror. It's <laughs> like this. You're going to drop dead if you go in the head. And drop into the one Meet stop our hapless hero, Come who's on, just blinked back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro. Kutaro. What's rattling around Your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Perhaps I'll just help myself. Howls to the bitter end. You are all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins, at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> oh, there's another one. See, just like I said. Blasted! What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Quick, pick up your now. This is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and... No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post-haste. Oh, and one other thing. Moon sparkles. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. 
Voila! These are moon sparkles. Collect 100 and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep looking. There! The witch's bloomers! Keep your eyes peeled for moon sparkles if you want to stay alive. Oh, that moon bear king is always angry. Jehoshaphat! Oh, look there! You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of magic to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Now, use the head's meow jig. Anyway, keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> oh, what a little darling. Welcome. Please make yourself at home. Go and bring it to me. I'd better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long waits. Watch that feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. Hey, I warned you. Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. Through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the back of the kitchen. Now, make no mistake, Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already starved by unfortunates whom the Moonbear King had plucked from their beds. 